Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the Ultimate Claims plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows your players to claim chunks of land in order to protect themselves from being griefed upon. So I've got a couple of examples here and we're going to show you how to use this plugin and all of the features that it contains. So first of all we are going to want to do the forward slash c command which is a very simple command. It's going to show all of the different commands that we can use and if we do forward slash c show it's going to indicate the claimed areas using particles. So green is going to be for myself and red is going to be for anyone else. So as you can see when we enter and exit a claim it will indicate we have either entered or exited and it will tell you the claim name which you can also change. So I'm going to go ahead and unclaim this area and what we need to do first is actually delete the chest um, if we haven't done that already. Then we can unclaim it and we'll get any money back and it will show some redstone blocks that it has been unclaimed. So to claim an area what we need to do is pop down a chest then we do 4 slash C claim. Then it will show emerald blocks the area that we are claiming and then we have 10 minutes to make a power cell. How do we do that? We need 5 iron ingots in this shape and then fill in the gaps with diamonds. Once we've done that we can go out and if you've got holographic displays you'll see this nice indication of how long is remaining so 10 hours. My other account has also 10 hours. And then if we open this up it is a really fantastic GUI with loads of information in and as you can see it tells us how long is left and then if we put any more items in it's going to increase the time that the area is protected. So make sure you keep refilling this with diamonds and iron ingots as you can see it's now two days protected we can add more now four days we won't have to worry about it for a while and you can also use money as well as items to protect an area so click and deposit an amount just type it in chat a thousand dollars for 10 minutes isn't really the best deal so i would just recommend putting diamonds in um, and as you can see you can just fill it up and you can view your bands as well so in here that would list band players we've got info so we've claimed one chunk and have one member so then if we do 4 slash c add member and then my other account we can see in the member area we've got myself the owner and then my other account a member his playtime and when he joined and then you've got some other stats at the top and sorting then down at the bottom we've got the member settings so this is stuff like block breaking block placing interacting trading etc so all of these are true for member by default and then we have the same for visitor settings these are all completely the same but are false by default so you can change these if you really want to um, but obviously you don't want visitors griefing then if we go into normal settings we've got do you want mob spawning yes or no fire spread yes or no pvp you can turn that off mob griefing and leaf decay so it's really cool that you can change all of these settings so then if we do 4 slash c set home that's going to set a home for our claim and then if we do 4 slash c home and then our claim name it's going to teleport us to where we set the home and another cool thing is you can actually rename your claim to something easier so let's go ahead and do 4 slash c name and then we're going to call it something so let's go ahead and call it server minor claim but the important thing for this is you are actually standing in your claim as you can see I'm not in the right chunk so go in here and that's going to rename it there we go you can see the name has changed now and finally we need to set the spawn point so if we do 4 slash c set spawn and that's going to set the spawn point so what that is going to do is teleport players who are banned to that point instead of inside so if we ban my other account we can see what actually happens with this so here i am on my other account and if i try and get in the claim it's going to teleport me to the point that we set every time i try and jump in it's going to teleport me away and make sure i can't get in and cause trouble so let's go ahead and look at some other commands so you can obviously do four slash c invite and then someone's username if you want to invite them to your claim we can do 4 slash c lock and that's going to lock our claim and obviously you can do 4 slash c unlock to unlock it and then for your new players you can do 4 slash c recipe that's going to give the power cell recipe in a gui and you can have a look at that if you forget it for whatever reason if i claim this one as well and the one next to it so we've got a massive square we can see the time has gone down dramatically so it was at two days it's now at one day and what we would need to do is obviously put more diamonds or more money into this in order to extend it for a longer period of time. So here we are in the SMPT control panel and as you can see there's a locals folder. This has all of the languages. We've got the config.yml and we've got a database file as well. So let's look at the locals first of all. And in here as you can see we've got loads of different languages and each one contains all of the messages and commands that we would see in games. So obviously choose whichever one is most appropriate to your server. But if we go into the config.yml, we can see what we can change in here. 
So up at the top we've got the power cell recipe, so you could change this if you really wanted to, but I think it's pretty good how it is. And then we've got the power cell item value. So what items do you want to be power cells? And how long do you want them to last? This one's 120 minutes for a diamond and 30 minutes for an iron ingot. And then which economy plugin we use, so Vault is probably the best. Then we've got holographic displays, obviously you could use a different one if you wanted to. And then the economy value, so one minute costs $100, you could change this to whatever you want. Then we've got the minimum power cell power, so that's negative 30 before the claim just disappears and you're not safe anymore. Do you want holograms, boss bar, yes or no? And should the chunks touch? So we saw in game that we had to go next to my first chunk that I claimed in order to claim some more. So then we've got a few other things. We've got the invite timeout, starting power, max chunks and max members. So you can obviously change these values if you wanted to. We've got the disable world. And then we've got a few other things about the interface. And down at the bottom, we've got whether you're using Dynmap and you want to use a MySQL database, yes or no. So that is pretty much everything in the config file. So if we head over to Songoda, this is where you can download the plugin for free. It's updated from 1.8 to 1.15, so it should work on pretty much all Minecraft versions. And you can see the page has loads of great information, images, and then down at the bottom we've got documentation, support, hop on your Discord if you do need help. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.